Good morning, welcome to another moving vlog. Uh, we just got the internet set up, so that is a major win. It's been like three days of us trying to get it set up and hours. it's finally set up, hours so that's hours. amazing. We just got some Amazon packages, so I'll show you what we got. Here we have a beautiful toaster. Let me see the front. Yeah, I ordered this really cute retro looking toaster. I love the neutral color. It's, it's similar to the look of the Smeg ones, but the Smeg ones are $200. <laughs> but this one was 40, I think. So not bad, I'll have it linked in the description. This is not the bad. brand. It came like overnight shipping. And then, oh, yay. What is this? My spice jars. Oh, jeez. I ordered these for all the spices. And I think That's I'm gonna cool. get some Etsy labels. Oh, it actually comes with. Yeah, I don't like those. <laughs> <laughs> I like the ones that are already. Like uh, yeah, it's already got the labels on it. I know. Yeah. I just don't like the look of it. Men don't understand. Here is the update. We just still have a little bit of stuff here. I'd have to go through these boxes today. Um, but everything else is pretty cleared up. I put all my decor stuff on this because they don't have a home yet. I want to hang up this mirror. I'm thinking about putting my desk here for now until we get like the living room furniture and can like better format. But look how cute the wine rack is. It looks so cute. And then the trash can looks absolutely perfect. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know I found this at Goodwill and I wasn't sure if it would work without the top, but it does. It does. So that's going to be on display there. Also found this paper towel holder. I actually ordered one on Amazon. It was $16 and then I went to Home Goods and found this one for $6. I set up some candles over there. This morning we tried this coffee. Well, it's more like milk. I know, hold on, let me show. So we wanted to try this one. We've tried some of the other stuff and we like it, but this one literally just tastes like they too much to like put, oat milk. They forgot to put coffee in it. Yeah, it's not. It's not very good. The regular black coffee stuff. I wanted to take you through all of the stuff I got from Home Goods last night. I set a lot of it up, um, so it's gonna be a little Home Goods haul. Let's see. No, no drum rolls. It's a perfect opportunity. I got a ton of organizational bins, just like this. They had a pack of four of these, so I got that. We got some of these white neutral sponges. I got this tray to just put all this stuff in, and then I want to get a little soap dispenser to fill with that so it's not so much branding. Got this cutting board. Oh, I'll update you on the fridge. I use some of those organization containers. And look how nice the eggs look, if you saw the last video. <laughs> We got this hamper found, or actually Kyle found this one. It's a little yeah, tea thing, but I think I'm just gonna take the cap off and use it to hold all of our like kitchen utensils. It's a good size. Um, I found this little waste bin, waste bin. It was only $13, which I honestly expected it to be more like 20, but I thought this would be cute to have by my desk. We got this big wood cutting board. We got this toilet cleaner. I like it because looks nice, keeps it hidden. At Target, we found this plunger. Then I got some more organizational things. So I got this big one and I measured the drawers and this one was like a perfect fit. Also got these two. Found this one and I decided to just do like my makeup and stuff here. Um, it's not like the best because it doesn't really fit, but I don't really mind it being kind of like tilted up. I'd like to hang up this mirror. I asked you guys on Instagram what I should put over this desk. A lot of you said the mirror and then also to put this palm frond like around the mirror or above or below it. So I'd like to get that all set up today. Now I'm making a to-do list because honestly my head is kind of all over the place. My top priority things to get done today is I have to film an Instagram story for Blooms. It's these flowers. Um, they make 
faux flowers. So I need to do some Instagram stories for them, which means I need to get ready and also try on one of my bridesmaid dresses. I also need to take a picture for All In Favor in their pants. So I need to do that later today, more towards sunset. Also need to make a landing page for a client. And I need to pick up some mail, ship a Depop order, set up water like delivery services and probably a lot of other stuff that I haven't written down yet. So I'm gonna keep working on this list. Okay, I'm gonna get ready. However, I think I'm gonna replace the light bulbs in the bathroom. Right now, this is kind of what they look like. So they are pretty yellow. I mean, it's not too bad, but I do have some light bulbs here that are daylight, which makes them really bright and white. So I'm gonna change them out and see if it's too intense. So let's see. So you can already tell the difference. Like this one definitely has more cool undertones, but I'm not sure if it will be like too intense if I replace them all. Okay, so I'm missing a light bulb. The last one I have is like significantly bigger than these ones. So I must have, I mean, this is a four pack. So we must have used the other one and I have no idea where it is. So I think I'm just gonna leave it like this for now until I can get that, but I definitely like it a lot better. Um, I don't know if you can tell from now to the last clip, but the lighting is just more cool. And I prefer that, especially cause I'll be doing my makeup in here and I just want the colors to look as true as possible. I just finished filming the Instagram stories. I gave them a sneak peek of my bridesmaid dress. So if you're not following me on Instagram, you definitely should. And I also had them vote on which flowers they like the best. I'm doing something exciting. I am ordering my wedding band. And I actually, me and Kyle decided to just do like something cheaper. We didn't want to spend a ton of money on our wedding bands. So I found one on Etsy actually, and I'm going to show it to you. I personally love it. We did go to the store to try on some with my ring to get a better idea of what I liked. And I honestly did not like any of the stuff they had in the store. So I looked at some of the review photos and some people had similar rings to mine. So I got a feel for what it would look like. And I think it is so beautiful. So let me show you. This is it. I think it is so dainty and beautiful. It's only $280, which is not bad compared to some other <laughs> um rings and it is made out of gold and real diamonds so it's 14 karat gold and what really sold me were these photos this is kind of what it would look like with my ring that's what it looks like so i absolutely love the way that looks this girl's setup is so beautiful i think that looks really really pretty as well I wasn't sure my exact ring size, so I dug through Kyle's papers and I'm pretty sure I'm a four and a half and I, I found this little chart online to help me as well. And I am pretty confident I'm a four and a half because this is a five and mine is smaller. So I am good to order that. I am so, oh, I sent it to the wrong address. I'm hoping because I literally just submitted it that they will change it. Otherwise, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so screwed up. Oh wait, okay. Okay. <laughs> it's getting shipped to my family's place, so that makes me feel better. So if anything, it'll be shipped to them, but I'm hoping they will change the shipping to this new apartment. For a second, I thought it was my old old address that like no one lives at anymore so i would have been so upset but i'm pretty sure they'll be able to change it because it just went through so my next package came in my utensil set i wanted a neutral color i was thinking white but then kyle said the white will probably stain and it's silicone tops wooden handles also comes with like measuring cups so many um, but now we are going to FedEx because I need to return those borrowed bloom flowers. And then who knows where life is going to take us. I need to go pick up my friend for Bible study. I think I have about like an hour and a half, maybe two hours before I have to go get her. So yeah, I don't know what's going to happen.
Okay, I just dropped off the FedEx packages. Now I'm in line for Chick-fil-A. I don't know if you guys know this, but I didn't eat meat for, I think, four years. Um, and then recently, I've been dabbling with some meat and just kind of seeing how it makes my body feel. I had Chick-fil-A for the first time since, I don't know, probably five or six years ago. Um, earlier this week and this is my third time getting it. I am obsessed with Chick-fil-A now. I am craving it so hard so I think I just need to get it out of my system. Um, and then there is an at-home store which is like a huge furniture store and like decor and just a huge home store I guess. So I'm gonna walk around there. I do still need a desk chair. We still need bar stools. What should go up here? We tried many different options. Only one works. The consensus was the mirror. Difficult. <laughs> this is not how you place cups. That is how you spill cups. This is how you place a cup. Put it on the table. I don't realize I'm doing it. This has been a reoccurring thing. I've noticed like four times in the last 24 hours, cups literally hanging on the edge. I'm going to knock him over. It's just going to happen. Oh, uh, does anyone else do that? I had no idea. Oh, man. But then he started pointing it out and literally... Every, every single day. time. It's like, I you just don't put like it right desk. on the edge. You don't like the table. You're like, you know what? I'm going to see what happens by putting this halfway off. <laughs> I did. <laughs> anyway, now Kyle's going to hang up the curtains. Okay, so the other day I went to Goodwill and found a lot of goodies. So I thought I would do a little Goodwill haul. The first two things I got were these lamps. I saw a tutorial on Instagram and basically you can paint things to look like they're kind of ceramics. So I saw these lamps and I wanted some matching ones for like the bedside tables and I thought these were a good size and I was like, you know what, I feel like I could paint these and make them look kind of like ceramics. I still need to find some kind of um, shade to put on these that looks well looks well with it but I'll put some pictures now for the inspiration behind these lamps I picked up some paint which I'll show you in a second these lamps were three dollars each I got some vases I think I'm gonna keep this one this color or I don't know I might paint it we'll see but I also bought some glass ones to paint so all of these vases were like 50 cents to a dollar so I just went to Lowe's and found some nice neutral colors. This is the other one. I'll show you the shades. So this brand is Valspar. I got this one, it's called Sahara Sands. Also by Valspar is Terracotta Trail. The last one I got is from Sherman Williams and this one is called Peach Mason. So those are the three colors I got to paint this stuff. The next thing I found was this other lamp. I thought this would be good for like the living room space. And it is this wooden lamp. I don't love the silver, but I'm just like want to paint everything now. So I'm going to try to paint this base, like one of those neutral colors. And then I saw on Pinterest these lampshades. So I thought I would try to find something like that. Just something really like funky and cool to really add to this lamp. This one was $5.50. I also had a coupon code. If you sign up for the email address, you get 20% off coupons for the each month. So basically everything I'm showing you right now was 20% off as well. The next thing I got was this picture frame. I thought it was pretty. I could keep it this wood color, but I might paint it as well. Um, and then I think I can just find a print off of like Etsy or something to put in here. I found this pot. It's super cute and speckled. The next thing I got were these soup bowls and they had two of them. They're 99 cents each. They are this like emerald green color inside, but I used it last night for my soup and it was really cute. I just also thought that would look really nice in my cabinets. Then I found just this wooden bowl. I actually have some essential oils coming in. so. 
I thought this would be a nice place to store essential oils and just have them on display. Then I found a lot of cool glass cups. This one is my favorite one. It's a super like wide, chunky glass mug. So love this one. I think that was 99 cents. Then I found this cool um, glass one. It's like super heavy duty at the bottom. Then I found a cool tall glass cup as well. And then the next thing I found was this bowl. It's a really pretty neutral color and then it has these designs on it. Here's my setup. Put down some Trader Joe bags and I'm gonna throw on like a YouTube video and just paint. These are pretty much done. I love the colors. I'm like not sure if these are a little too pink. They actually look more muted on the camera. Like on the camera, they look really nice, but in person, they kind of look peachy. Now I'm working on this. Um, right now, I just really don't think the color looks good, but I'm pretty sure this color will darken to that. So I'm just gonna let it dry and see how it looks. Okay, some other updates that I forgot to mention is I found a chair for my desk. This is what she looks like. She's really beautiful. I found this one at Home Goods. This one was $130, which is a little steep for a chair, not gonna lie, but yeah, the other one I was gonna get was 120, so I was like, at this rate, I might as well get this beautiful rattan one. I did end up getting some pillows to go on it, so both of these are from Home Goods. This one was super squishy, so this one's perfect for the bottom because it flattens out like that. And then this one's more supportive. That's what she looks like with the pillows on it. These are so good. I ate this whole bag. <laughs> it's down to here. I ate all of these in the last 24 hours. Um, this flavor is awesome. I love buffalo. I actually just made some mac and cheese and put buffalo sauce in it we got our water dispenser delivered today i am so excited for this and you might be asking kyan why are you excited for a water dispenser well this has k cup oops wait just kidding this oh no i don't need you today okay just anyway this has k cup capabilities so i can just put in my k cups here and I can also get my hot water and cold water. I need to fill up my water bottle right now. This one is from Amazon. It's super cute. I love the silicone on it because then it doesn't sweat. Ooh. I'm an adult. I'm excited about a water dispenser. I am such an adult. Another idea I had was for Kyle to build some floating shelves like the really like thick ones that you see I thought it would be really cool to have like two right there on that wall and then I could put some like decor and artwork and maybe like throw this hanging plant on there to kind of trail off I just think this corner would be really cute with some shelves I showed you on Instagram I just got a bunch of new highlighters these are the ones I use for my bible they are the Tombow art see those and they have really great like pastel colors just got some new ones of those I also got a new hard drive I've just had the most terrible time with hard drives but this one I got a warranty on so if it breaks or anything in the next year I think I can get it replaced and all of my hard drives don't last my last hard drive lasted two months and then I sent it in to get repaired and then it came back and it was still broken. And it's like, I paid $130 for this thing. So whew, I'm hoping this one works better. Um, I really like the cable that it comes with better. Um, but yeah, now I'm gonna just sit and edit. Mm -hmm. 